we've recently started delving into mysticism a little bit in um, Black Lightning. Like we've got, uh, first there was Lady Eve talking about albinos, and then there was Lala coming back. So <laughs> how, are we going to get to see how and why that happened to Lala, and how will magic or mysticism play more of a role in upcoming episodes? I think fairly soon you'll see the Lala, well, because we're on, that was episode 10, mm-hmm. so fairly soon you'll see how Lala came back and why all this stuff is happening to him and why he doesn't really have a memory of what happened to him. Um, I don't want to give away too much about what's coming, but it's coming very soon. Like two episodes. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> in, in the episode that we just saw in the arena, we, the review was that the ESA finally found out who Jefferson Reed was. Right. It's like moving forward, are we gonna find it's like the ESA, the ASA being a bigger villain in the story? Or? The, it, it's they are a they are the big bad. So we had Lala, and then Tobias, and then Lady Eve, but the ASA is the big bad for the season. Um, You will see... Hmm. Again, I'm choosing words very carefully. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to say the ASA is the big bad, and you will learn a lot very soon. Again... I guess a backwards looking question. Khalil uh, was originally taken in by uh, Tobias right. and was going to be used to turn people against Black Lightning. Right. But then Lady Eve's death did that. Right. So was that a shift in plans for you guys or are there more plans to come for Tobias? Oh, Tobias is a planner. So there's more plans. Um, there are things that, that have yet to be discovered, revealed, or uncovered. So, this show, nothing's off the table. Obviously, nothing's off the table. (laughs) So, just remember all the people that you've seen, because they may or may not be coming back. We're getting a lot of evasive answers here. (laughs) So, what can you tell us? Is there something exciting that we can't see you that you're able to talk about? Oh, see, you're going forward. (laughs) Um, There are... You, you, you'll get to see more of the, the, the family, the Pierce family, and their powers going forward. That's going to be fun. Um, you get to learn more about the Gamby relationship going forward with Jefferson, and uh, you get Tobias. I'm, I can't wait for that one. So, I'm being vague, but you will, you will like me for it later. Speaking of the Pierce family... I really love how uh, both Jennifer and Lynn are allowed to have a very different perspective from Anissa and Jefferson about powers and what it means to help people and whether we need to use those powers to do that. So how did you guys come to that decision to have them be so opposed to it, but still clearly good people who help in their own way? Uh, Jennifer and Anissa? Jennifer Jennifer and Anissa are very different, but she and Lynn both are against using the powers. Right. And yet they're still very good people. Right. Um, I mean, if you look at families, the people tend to mirror another person. So Anissa mirrors Jefferson, where Jennifer mirrors Lynn. The funny thing is, in my estimation, Jennifer's a lot more like Jefferson than she really likes to lead on, like to like to admit. And the power linkage kind of makes that a little obvious. And in my mind, I feel like Jefferson was a lot more like Jennifer when he was younger. And I feel like he grew up and then this is following the guy that he became. But I feel like when he's Black Lightning, he's a lot more like Jennifer is. And when he's Jefferson, he's a lot like Anissa. But it's, it's a weird kind of mix of genetics. Everything's a little jumbled with them. 